friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Ditly House Plans. In today's video, we are setting up my clean mama routine for October in my plum paper vertical columns. So let's get started. Alrighty friends, so for October, I have this orange umbrella co kit. It's 271. It's called Pumpkins at Twilight. And so what I have here is some washi, various sizes. And then this is from the monthly. This is the main header on the monthly view. I'm pulling this because I'm using these boxes that I don't need in my monthly view for my clean mama. So I pulled those. So that's kind of the base of the kit. And then I have here my scripts from Saya Planning that she has put on her shop for the Clean Mama routine. So there's the daily tasks, which I have make the bed, wipe the counters, check floors, tidy up, laundry, and then I have a backup sheet because I'm almost done with this one. So those are what we call the daily five in the Clean Mama routine. And then the weekly tasks are, these are the headers, and for me, they are sheets, so that's my backup because I'm almost done with that sheet. And then towels, and then garbage. I add empty the garbage, and then dusting, emptying the fridge is also another one I've added. Vacuuming, there's my backup sheet. And then mop, and then bathrooms, water the plants, and scoop the poop. So those last two are ones I also kind of added to my routine because they're things I need to do in my house. And then we have headers for the rotating tasks and the monthly tasks. And so let me pull the Clean Mama little guide to a clean home. So this is a digital download that I purchased, printed it, sized it down to a seven by nine, and then took it to Office Depot and had them make it into a little book for myself. So starting with, the daily tasks. So again, she's got here each day of the week and then the daily five. Make the beds, wipe the counters, check the floors, clutter, which is for me, I use tidy up and then laundry. So let's get started with laying down the washi first. So I think some of this is a little skinny and then some of it's wider. Let's see, let's, let's maybe do these pumpkins and hopefully it'll yeah, it'll cover the screen header. So i am you know, been talking in my plan with me's about planners for 2024 because I usually order mine with all the Black Friday sales. Since I'm on a regular calendar year, I'm not, I don't do the academic year. Let's see, maybe let's do this one. I think this one's going to be a little thin. I might have to white out that top edge. And so I was thinking of switching over to an Erin Condren just for my everyday carry. And so I have a couple of choices. I was looking at the teacher planner and then I have the 2024 in Plum Paper already. I could pull these monthly cleaning pages and just add them to the back of each month. Or because I'm doing the teacher planner, I could segment out because it's got the different little like sections I could section out a spot for clean mama I think I tore that a little short so we'll see let's see do I want to do I'm gonna do this one here I think this is pretty I don't have to white out when I do this one oops so yeah that's that's what I'm thinking I can either take the sheets that I have for my 2024 plum paper because I had bought two 18 months in a row. So I now have all of 2024 already here. And so I could, I'm gonna think I'm gonna use this one on top here. I can either pull these sheets and insert them or incorporate the Clean Mama routine into the teacher layout like the weekly teacher layout so we'll see I haven't decided yet I think I have to get the planner first and give it a feel to see what I want to do because I don't know where I would put the monthlies and all that kind of stuff the dailies would fit in there the way it's structured but we'll see okay let's see let's do maybe these pumpkins in the middle so this month I'm feeling pretty good I got little wrinkle there. I feel like I've gotten my house really like 
dust free because I've got, I think I talked last month about getting, I have an air purifier now, which is helping Otis and his breathing tremendously. And then I also bought him just recently, I bought a, how many weeks do I have? One, two, three, four. I bought him an air purifier. I mean, sorry, a humidifier. And so I turned that on at night in the bedroom and he is sleeping so much better and breathing so much better at night. So I've been really far more diligent in my dusting and keeping dust down in the house because I find it's really helped him a lot. Oh, this is cute. Okay, so now I'm gonna take each of these headers for the weeks and put these down. I think I'm gonna film my monthly right after this one. I'm trying to get as many of my October monthlies filmed this today as I can, just because I will be traveling middle of the month and it just gets really hard to get everything done. As I learned in August, <laughs> I just didn't quite get it all done. So that's what I'm trying to do here, friends. Put this one here. Okay, so there's that. And then let's find some cute little icons to go here. Okay, so these are from Planner Kate. These are really old. And I have, let's see, a little vacuum and the little pail filled with water. Let's go ahead and do... There's a lot of purple in this kit, actually. Maybe I'll do like this little purple one here, this little pale one on this side. I'm gonna white that out just a little bit. It's like, it shows just a little bit. Yeah, that's sweet. Okay, and then over here, we'll do the little vacuum. Okay, let's do, maybe we'll do the orange one on this side. There we go. I don't think the white out looks great there. Let's see. There we go. That looks a little better. Okay, so there's that. Okay, so let's flip through and let's put all of these daily task headers down. So I'm gonna need to reorder these from Saya. So I think this is my last sheet. I have enough to do this month, but I'll need to get more for November and December. Okay, so there's that. And then We'll put the daily five down. I'll show you what the week looks like. So we have make the bed, wipe the counters. It's so funny how clean the house is now with Girl Scott. <laughs> I'm still picking up after Scott, but he's not home much. He's actually golfing with my little brother right now. So that's why I was like, oh, I have several hours of quiet time to film videos. <laughs> So Otis is downstairs watching football. He doesn't like, Otis doesn't like to come upstairs. So he's downstairs watching football. So that's the daily five. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'll put the rest of them down and then we'll come back. Okay, so I have all of the daily five down on both sides. And then I have my Erin Condren stencil. I'm gonna use these little boxes here to put some check boxes in and I pulled this Tombow, this is 912, is the color. It's kind of like a pale, beigey, orangey type color. So I thought I would see how this looked. Let me line this up. Oh yeah, that's cute. Kind of a orange sherbet-y color. So let me go ahead and just put all of these little check boxes in. Alrighty, so that's what each of the weeks looks like. I've got all of my little check boxes drawn in here. And then now let's move on to the weekly tasks. 
So for September, it was like your mudroom entryway. I don't have a mudroom. So I just focused on like, my entry is really small. It's not like we have a small older home. And so I just like go through our little coat rack and kind of wash everything, hang things up that like we don't necessarily need there anymore um, and that kind of thing. And then there's a cabinet in our living room. And so I kind of add that in and just kind of go through the cabinet um, and tidy that up. So what I'm doing here is I'm doing just a, an abbreviation for each day of the week. And then I'll put the tasks down for each of the weeks. Okay, so now that I have that down, let's take a look at my weekly tasks. So we'll do a week here together. So Monday's when I do all my linen. So basically sheets and towels. So there's sheets and then towels. And then I empty the garbage on Tuesday nights because we have early Wednesday morning pickup. So they usually come, I feel like garbage comes first before recycling. They usually come at like seven in the morning. And then Wednesday and Thursday, I don't really do anything other than the daily five just because those are the busy days. I'm just busy during the week, like as I work outside the home. And so I'm often working late or that kind of thing. Um, and then Friday is when I dust, which is about all I can do on a Friday night. <laughs> it's all I have the energy for. And I empty out the fridge because I want to prep the fridge, make sure it's empty for when I do my grocery shopping on the weekend. And then Saturday morning, I wake up, I do my walk, and then I come home and I vacuum and I mop. And then Sundays, I wake up, go for my walk, and then come home and scrub the bathrooms. And then Otis and I will go out at some point. We water the plants and I usually scoop the poop. So there we go. So that's what my week looks like. Just put a little and sign, a little plus sign there. So that's what that's gonna look like. And then I will go ahead and put all the rest of these down and we'll come back. Okay, so I have all of my weekly tasks down. And so I just check them off each day that I do them. And then now let's look at the rotating tasks. So these are tasks that you do kind of once a month and you kind of rotate through the year. So I'm gonna put these down and then let's take a look at our guide here. So these are the weeklies. And you can see hers are, for her weekly, she does bathrooms on Monday. So she does, Mondays are bathrooms, Tuesdays dusting, Wednesday is vacuuming, Thursdays wash the floors, Fridays your catch-all, where you can do anything that you might have missed during the week, or you could do one of your monthly or rotating tasks. And then Saturday is her sheets and towels, and then Sunday is just the daily five. So I do mine a little differently just based on our schedule in our house. So let's see, where are we? October. So we're gonna vacuum baseboards, spot clean furniture. That's something we do every month, once a month. And then bathroom light fixtures. So she rotates through the house with the fixtures. So you can see kitchen fixtures, living room, dining room, bathroom, etc. So we're back to bathroom light fixtures, wash the rugs. That's something she has once a month. Polish wood furniture, same thing. Wipe switches, phones, and remotes. So that alternates between wipe down appliances. So in September, we wiped down the appliances in the kitchen. So this month we're gonna do switches, phones, and remotes, and then back to wipe, wiping down the appliances. So you can see those kind of rotate. And then cleaning the oven, which my oven doesn't need to be cleaned, so I'll be skipping that. And then vacuum garage, basement, and storage. Okay, so I've got the header down. Let's go ahead, I have to turn the book, friends, so I can write, and I'm gonna put a little cover under here because it's kind of lumpy now. And I'm gonna just write these in, so. Baseboards, and I like, I kind of do those. I do the best, the baseboards as I'm vacuuming. But what I like to do is go in with like a wet rag and wipe them down. Cause then I feel like they get cleaner. I'm just gonna put bathroom lights and then wash rugs. wood furniture 
and then wipe. I do my phone every day at work because we don't have a landline anymore. How many of you don't have landlines anymore? So we just have our, our phones. So where are my wipe down appliances? Okay. Clean oven. We have a self-cleaning oven, so that's easy. Vacuum. Garage. We don't have a basement, so I'm not gonna put that, but I'll put storage. We do have some storage closets in the house. Okay, so that's that. So those are the rotating tasks. And then let's look at the monthly focus is the laundry room. Okay, so I don't have a laundry room, but our washer and dryer is outside, so in the garage. So what I'll do is I will just go through and I'm gonna put this a little higher so I can write down the, let me move this too, just so they're even, so I can put the, what the focus is. So I'll go and clean up the, the shelving and all that kind of stuff, so laundry room. When we remodeled our house, I wanted him to enclose that space in the garage and put it inside the house, but he didn't want to do it, <laughs> so I still have to go out in the garage, but it's not a big deal. It's easy. We've lived here for over 20 years, so <laughs> I'm used to it. Toss and donate. I'm just writing down like the headers and then we'll go through and I'll read to you what they are so that you know. Label and then practice. Like I don't have the cute laundry room like a lot of people do. Okay, so the declutter, it says there's clear laundry room or laundry area of unnecessary items. Clean, so clean and wipe any shelves or drawers. I just have shelves. And then deep clean your washer and dryer. Friends, let me know what you use to deep clean your washer and dryer. Like I've watched some videos on different ways to do it like with vinegar and all that kind of stuff. And then evaluate what is and isn't working. Toss and donate items that are no longer needed or wanted. Organize group like items together. Contain, use pretty containers to make supplies more attractive. So I don't really do that. Just because like I said, it's in the garage, but I do have containers where I've got like some of Otis's old stuff, like his little puppy things that I'm saving are out there on my shelves and stuff. And then label to make locating items easier and to unify the space and then practice. Take it out, put it away and do a load of laundry every day to keep it manageable. So that's the focus for October, the laundry room area. So that's pretty much it. I think I'm set for my clean mama routine. This little monthly cleaning page with the plum paper, I do actually really like it. I did it as an insert that was distributed behind each month. You could do it in a tabbed section where all of them would be like, say behind this notes, so it would say um, monthly cleaning and it, you'd have all 12 of your pages there. So, but this works really well for me. So I'm gonna call this good for October and just let it go like this. So that's it, yep, that's the clean model routine. Alrighty friends, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel. Thanks for watching, take care, bye-bye.